I came and why I stayed. There's one reason I came to St. Bartholomew's, and about 200 reasons why I stayed. I'm a cradle Episcopalian, born and raised in the Diocese of Southern Ohio and lived in Chicago, Illinois for 25 years where my kids were baptized in the neighborhood Episcopal Church there. When I moved to Pittsburgh, one of the first things our family did was look for a church. Turns out the only Episcopal Church in Chatham County was, and still is, St. Bartholomew's. So that's why I came here. On our first Sunday there, I noticed a couple of things. The church sanctuary had a real palpable sense of history. You could sense all the generations of saints who had sat in the pews and worshipped God. I liked the traditional architecture that my Sunday school teacher back in Cincinnati had described as a boat upside down. It was like there was a cloud of witnesses there who'd all been in the same boat with Jesus. The second thing I noticed was that the priest at the time was in his bare feet in his cassock and reading a Mary Oliver poem. So I thought, that's pretty cool. This isn't a stuffy place. There are some new things going on that intersect with the old. And I liked that. After the service was over, our family was invited to join the congregation at the coffee hour after church. A man and his wife welcomed us at the door of the coffee hour with an enthusiasm and warmth that startled me after living in Chicago for 25 years. Wow, these people really did care about who we were. After being made welcome by several others, we felt like we had arrived home. We worshipped at Episcopal churches all over the Diocese of North Carolina and elsewhere. In the meantime, as my path included for several years a discernment process of what God was calling me to do as vocation. that the Diocese of North Carolina is a welcoming diocese. Our bishop urges us all to go into Galilee, into our communities to share the good news. When the bishop asked me at the end of my formal discernment process if I would like to return to St. Bartholomew's to serve as lay pastoral leader, I got up from my chair and hugged him. This was the best news I could ever imagine. I have served St. Bart since 2008 and have never felt more blessed. The people of this parish and its surrounding community are wonderful. We have prayed together and planned together. We have shared our stories as sisters and brothers in Christ and carried those stories blessed and sometimes broken to the Lord's table. Here at St. Bartholomew's, we encourage the sharing of our spiritual paths, our questions, and our passions for ministry with the people of God. This is a place for those who want to get involved in ministry, and this is a place for those who can only participate in Sunday worship. This is a place where no matter who you are and what your politics, your income, your sexual orientation, your race, or your religious background, you are welcome to worship the living God in community. Like I said, there are about 200 reasons why I stay at St. Bartholomew's. They are the saints who come through the front door on Sundays and the back door on weekdays. Counting those who have gone before us and who guide us, there must be a thousand. Thank you, saints.